Hey, how you doing? My name is Paul Ferrace and I'm a landscape photographer based out of St. Augustine, Florida. And today we're gonna go over a version of the Orton effect that I use to create like a soft, dreamy, painterly type glow in some of my landscape photos. It's a bit different than the standard way of doing it. So without further ado, let's jump into Lightroom and Photoshop and uh, get to work. All right, let's do it. All right, so hey, how you doing guys? This is a photo that I just took when I was uh, on a, doing a photo job the other day in uh, Madison, Florida. And uh, I just thought we would use this because it would uh, take this effect very well. And uh, it's real simple, easy to edit. So let's jump right into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, warm this up a touch. Go through some basic, uh, basic adjustments. Exposure's fine. I can probably go up a little just so I have more room to play with once we get into Photoshop. That's fine for now. Shadows, I don't know why that was down. Keep those at zero. All right, we look like we have a good starting point here. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this and then we're gonna jump over into Photoshop real quick. So go down here to the photo, right click, edit in, Adobe Photoshop. All right, so here we are, we're in Photoshop. Pull that off, so I have some room to work with. All right, we'll go through some quick edits real quick. I just wanna grab a curves layer here and we will darken this image a bit just to get it maybe right about there all right good i'm gonna add a dodge and burn layer Ooh, i'll just do lights and darks duplicate this and make a darks all right okay then we can just grab our brush paint brush that's a b it's the hot key uh, maybe i'll I have a large screen, so I'll make that a little larger. All right, so we have our uh, opacity at 10. I'm gonna bring that down to about six, just so it takes, uh, I could be more subtle when I, uh, when I paint this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and darken up some corners. Draw the eye to the center. And we'll get to the painting effect soon. Just making a little vignette here. With a little burning. All right, not bad, not bad. I may end up cropping this down too. I'm not sure how I feel about this, uh, these lights up here, the sky coming through. Um, but anyway, we'll get there. Okay, all right, that's pretty good there. All right, just to save time, I'll jump right into the uh, effect. So what I'm gonna do is take all these, uh, the top selected, I'll hold down shift, click on the background, then I'll do command, Option Shift E, and that's going to give me a merged layer of everything. So, a merged layer of everything. So, let's see. Go up to Filter, go up to Blur. Sorry, Gaussian Blur, and uh, I use a radius of 24 because my camera is 24 megapixels. So it's good to stay there. It's about a good starting point. You can play with it, but that's a that's what I usually do there. All right. So here's where people would usually just take this down to about 15. 10%, maybe even 20 if you want to see it heavy. And then tweak uh, maybe a levels or curves layers to, to blow that out. And that looks nice, but the way I do it is I go here to blend mode and I do soft light. Sorry, my computer's being a little slow. Okay, so there you go. You see the heavy contrast and the big glow. So I usually back this off a little bit. Sorry, my computer's slow trying to record this screencast. All right, so that's pretty good right there, 60%. It's a little heavy, but I'll leave it heavy for the video. Um, and what you can do now is take a levels, and if there's too much contrast, you can uh, you can always pull that out like right there and retain the glow effect, but lay down some of the uh, over processing that it does. Because uh, the soft using the soft light blend mode definitely is heavy and over processed, but it's still good. So. Let's see. Actually, I'll go back here. You can play with the uh, darks and lights a little bit. Just crunch it in. Okay, bring these lights in. All right, so not bad. Let's uh, see what before. Yeah, and after. 
All right, so that should be good for now. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, we're just gonna take it back into Lightroom and do a few minor adjustments and we should be done. Go ahead and save. All right, so here we are. So first thing I'm gonna do is crop it down a little bit. Let's see, I'll probably go with a four by five. Get some of these spots out here up. Give me these, get some of these spots up here out. Like somewhere around there will do. Yep, I can deal with those, those aren't too bad. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna do a little bit more of a vignette. And I like to use a radial tool here instead of the vignette because you have a lot more control. Let's see here. Okay, we'll bring this exposure down. There we go, that's nice. A little less, I don't want it to be overdone. I always like to go to where I like it and then come back a little more. So I'm gonna do another new one. We'll do the middle here. Draw your interest into the back. I'm gonna invert that. Boop. Okay, bring that back to zero. Actually might make this a little longer like that. I'm gonna feather it a little bit extra and then uh, just just slightly bump the exposure back there. Maybe even some of the clarity come down and give it a bit more of a paint effect. Okay, that looks good. Let's get back into here. All right, so that's it. Um, let me show you the before and after. All right, so here's the before and here is the after. Uh, it's quite a good look, it's a bit different. Uh, we got most things under control, a little black clipping, but nothing that can't be handled. Um, yeah, but otherwise, good photo, nice and simple, uh, but it works well in a forest, especially with all the Spanish moss. So that is my version of the Orton Effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I do these, I'm gonna start doing more of these uh, editing style videos. And I also do a lot of in the field videos. So I have a lot of videos coming up. So if you like this stuff and wanna see uh, wild Florida and you love landscape photography, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys, peace.